Alexander Hamilton stated, the first duty of society is justice. My name is George Kirk. As amateur hockey development director for the Pittsburgh Penguins, it was my responsibility to grow and develop the sport of hockey in the Pittsburgh region. Through hosting assemblies at schools, passing out flyers there for learn to play hockey and teaching learn to play hockey from the early 1980s to the mid 1990s. The number of players rose from 5,000 to over 20,000. In coordinating this effort and consulting with local hockey associations and rink developers, the number of ice surfaces also grew from 7 to 23. In addition, I coordinated and hosted dozens of USA Hockey Coaches Clinics, wherein more than 1,200 coaches were certified by USA Hockey. I also had the privilege of serving for 10 years as a Tri-State Area Hockey Association chairperson, which oversees all hockey operations in the Tri-State Area and it was in conjunction with USA Hockey. Leading the effort in, in realizing unprecedented growth beyond anywhere else in the United States in this time frame was my life's work. And I spent nearly all my waking hours devoted to Pittsburgh Hockey and USA Hockey. In 1990, I invested as sole owner of Sharpshooter Deck Hockey Rink for less fortunate children who could not afford to play ice hockey. The rink was very successful in offering both deck hockey and roller hockey. Then in 1996, my position with the Penguins was eliminated. And soon after, my mother passed away and the decision was made to sell the rink. The rink was sold to a partnership called Team 68. And after the deal was signed in April of 2000, one of the partners was arrested for fraud. And the other partner, a professional hockey star from Pittsburgh, refused to act in good faith and backed out of the deal. After a lawsuit, an unwanted, very public trial in 2004, covered by all the local TV stations, we lost the suit, bringing much disgrace to my family and ruining my reputation. What local news did not cover was the fact that our own attorneys purposely performed malpractice by not having a witness who submitted a sworn affidavit entirely proving that Team 68 was a partnership appear in court. The witness, a clothing vendor, called our attorney to make arrangements to appear, but our attorney told him it was not necessary. After hiring more attorneys who dragged it out until 2013, I was told there would be no recouping the $150,000 sale price or any attorney's fees. This money was to go to our daughter's education, which was our top priority. She never missed a day of school and achieved straight A's from first grade into her senior year of high school, which I helped oversee as a primary domestic parent. After earning partial academic scholarship to Notre Dame, she graduated in 2015 with significant debt. It wasn't easy to come forward, let alone ask assistance from you, but the entire brutal process destroyed my marriage of 25 years and completely alienated my daughter, whom I haven't seen or talked to in nearly six years. Now I am disabled, suffering from severe recurring depression, live in public housing, and recently endured three surgeries for advanced skin cancer. I always treated others the way I hoped to be treated throughout my entire life. This is one time I humbly ask for others to help me. Thank you from my heart for listening, donating, and forwarding this message to others. I appreciate it.
Thank you.